I'm Greg Powell, and this is Investors Insights. You're listening to Investors Insights with President and CEO Greg Powell and the Portfolio Strategy Team at Bot Plan Partners, Ashley Page and Franklin Bradford. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I am thrilled about the interview that I'm getting ready to do. We have in our offices today, uh, Dean Howard Finch, Dean of the Brock School of Business. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. So I know you uh, have a jam-packed schedule and uh, we can't thank you enough for taking time to uh, come by to do this interview. Well, it's a pleasure and we enjoy getting out and, and telling the Brock School of Business and the Sanford story. Uh, and so to, to catch up with our alumni and our uh, partners in the community is a real pleasure. Yeah, well, you, you do a fantastic job in the, uh, the growth that we're seeing at the Brock School of Business has just been incredible. Uh, I've got a few questions here for you, and I'm, you know, I, I definitely uh, want to talk about Sanford and just talk about education in general as well. Uh, talk to us, though. Uh, every, every, you're passing uh, Sanford's campus on Lakeshore. Or you can go to a, a website and see a camera. There's a new building being built for the Brock School of Business. There Tell sure us a little is. bit about that. It's an exciting time in the history of the school. We're uh, in the middle of the construction of the new Brock School of Business building that will be finished next summer. Uh, in time for us to uh, occupy the building for fall 2015 classes. That's great. It'll be state-of-the-art, uh, four-story building. It'll be at the highest point on campus uh, and uh, offer a panoramic view not only of the campus but of Shades Mountain as well. Yeah. And the, the real strength of the building is the sense of community and culture as well as partnerships uh, that we'll be able to foster uh, in that environment that we can't do now. Yeah. Uh, so great learning facilities for our students, great uh, areas program for them to be able to spend time informally and work in teams. Right. And then some really great meeting space that allow organizations uh, like yours uh, to bring in friends and suppliers and uh, partners and come to our school and interact with our faculty and students and see the school as a resource, uh, which is yeah. a big part of the future of the building. Well, you've already created this entrepreneurial spirit within the Brock School of Business, but I think this new building is just going to enhance that even more. Do you agree with me? I mean, it's... Very much so. Uh, you know, the philosophy is that we want the business school to be an asset. And, sure. And therefore, we, we don't want to sit back. We want to bring the business school to the community and give the community opportunities to use the school's resources and capabilities. And it helps us because it allows our faculty, staff, and our students especially right. to work on networking skills, to make sure. uh, key uh, contacts, and also the internships and the placement opportunities after graduation. Right. Well, I'm, I'm honored to be you know, on the advisory board of the Brock School of Business, and I know when we have our advisory board meetings, the energy and the excitement that comes out of those meetings and you know, how, how you're approaching it from a cutting edge standpoint in education is huge. Now, in, in, and in terms of cutting edge, you've recently uh, introduced uh, some online education, I think, that uh, we all need to be aware of. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, in, in our graduate business programs, particularly in our MBA program, we want to make the program as flexible as possible right. for working professionals. And we also want to be able to reach out to those outside the greater metro uh, Birmingham area. Right. And so th starting this fall, we're offering our entire MBA program online. It's not a different program, it's a different delivery of okay. our existing high quality program. Right. So students can take as much or as little online classes as they want when their uh, schedules and their lifestyles dictate that they can't come to campus once a week. They can continue to move forward in their degree program through their online classes. And uh, we think, uh, you know, we have a lot of alumni uh, out there in the southeastern, southwestern United States. Yeah, absolutely. And they've said to us, uh, we'd really like to get our MBA with you, but we, we live now in places like Nashville and Atlanta, and this mm -hmm. gives them the opportunity to pursue their MBA with the high-quality faculty that they already know in the campus right. that they love. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, the, the online uh, uh, business model in education is changing. I think it's great that the Brock School of Business you know, has embraced that, uh, and that we're taking the campus off campus, if I can say that, or the experience, I guess I should say, of education, the Sanford experience, is now online. And, and there's a, a real a art to doing that. Yeah. Because uh, we're in the people business. Uh, right. We very much are about quality over quantity, 
And so to bring that quality experience and that value of helping each individual grow, not only intellectually, but also personally and spiritually, sure. uh, requires a lot of thought. And I'm, I'm very pleased to tell you that our faculty have embraced that opportunity mm -hmm. and are, are being very innovative and, and creative in the ways that they're bringing that Sanford experience you're talking about right. into our online classes as well. Right. In, in terms of the Brock School of Business, what are a couple of the majors that you're seeing the, this generation go to now? Where do you see a trend there? You know, we're really living, Greg, in the age of accountants. Okay. Uh, accounting yeah. is as hot as it could ever be. Yeah. Um, and our accounting program is super. Uh, our students have one of the highest pass rates on the CPA in the state. Uh, they, uh, we have 100% placement for our graduates, uh, both in internships and then at following graduation. So accounting remains hot, and I think it will for a good foreseeable future. Finance also is a very hot major. It's good. Uh, you know, the economy is improving, and, and we're uh, looking at uh, uh, ways to prepare people for more ethical and more mm -hmm. effective money management and uh, banking and real estate careers. Uh, and I think that area is going to continue to be hot. And then one of our comparative advantages is entrepreneurship. Right. I'm and excited about that. We, we want to give people the skills that they need and the encouragement and the perspective to establish new businesses and to become what I consider the real heroes in an economy, and that's the people who actually create jobs. Sure. Well, you know, I'm big on small business. I, you know, I, 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 I do think that uh, small business drives the economy. We can talk about the big corporations, but it's the small business sure. owners. And, and technology has allowed uh, small businesses to be more efficient than ever uh, and have the capability of that uh, larger corporation. Well, so I think I'd, that's great. I'd be remiss if I didn't also add that uh, the hottest new uh, academic program we have right now is our sports marketing concentration. Yeah, talk about that just a little bit. Well, we have a faculty member who really has a, a strong national reputation in the area of sports marketing, Dr. Darren White. And Darren has created a program that allows students the opportunity to learn how to apply their business uh, skills and perspective uh, in the air business of sports. And then Birmingham being, uh, you know, really the epicenter of the sports world in the southeastern United States. And we have a lot of alumni in places like Charlotte and mm -hmm. Jacksonville and Atlanta sure. who are in the business of sports that are providing students with great learning opportunities and in internships and also uh, integrating the concepts uh, that we normally teach for regular business in a sports application. And that's a billion dollar industry. Yeah. Oh, and big growing. part of the economy. Sure, very much so. Well, that's fantastic. Well, I, I've told you this before, but thank you for increasing the value of my diploma. <laughs> and also, uh, by being a part of the, the Brock School of Business, I've been able to, to continue my education on the, the trends and changes, not only occurring within education, but within careers and industries. It's been a fantastic experience for me. So thank you. You're welcome. And uh, for those of you that are watching this uh, vlog, or Sanford alums, I'd encourage you to get more involved. What's the website they can go to to see the uh, construction of the building? It's www.sanford.edu backslash business. Uh, and there's a link there where you can watch the building in real time being constructed. Yeah. I'd encourage you to go there. And any time that you're uh, questioning whether or not do you, I need to go back and visit Sanford's campus, you definitely do, especially on the weekends when there's a sporting event. Because guess what? As alums, we get to see each other, to interact. It's incredible to catch up with each other. So take this time to get more involved. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Sanford, check out the website. You see the quality of leadership that we have at Sanford, and I'm proud to uh, be associated with it. Thanks again. More information at fiplanpartners.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA, SIPC.